Hey there, welcome to my very first video on um, my official YouTube channel, which I am going to be posting content on here. Um, the idea came to me to start sharing when I finally put together that I get so much out of watching um, lifestyle videos, um, recipe videos, and, and really just like personal vloggers. So I would just like to start sharing with you as well what my lifestyle looks like, what, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, what, what does my working life look like, etc. So today's video is about skincare and I want to talk to you guys about my four tips for glowing skin. Right now, I don't have any makeup on and so I just want to show you what I'm working with. If I'm missing anything in this video, be sure to comment on it and let me know what I'm missing out on. So as you can see, naturally I have I naturally have some acne, some scarring, you can see, and I've had it my whole life. My skin tends to be a little on the dry end, but that's okay. We love the skin we're in, right? We're gonna achieve that glow together. Tip number one, drink two liters of water a day. I can tell you that I've been doing this for the past few weeks and I've seen improvement. My skin doesn't feel as dry. My lips don't get trapped as often, and I feel just so cleansed through. I feel like well, all that water moving through my system throughout the day has just been one of the most amazing things for my body. Uh, it wasn't until I started drinking that much water that I realized how dehydrated I really have been <laughs> for the majority of my life. It's kind of a scary, it's kind of a scary thing to think about when you realize that in a, in, in a modern society, in a modern setting, we can literally be depriving our bodies of water. One of the most essential, something that keeps us alive. I recommend that you start your day with drinking your two liters because I know it is so frustrating having to run to the bathroom all of the time. And especially some of you maybe who are at work and you can't be jumping out of the bathroom every 20 minutes. Start it early in the morning. Number one, because that kicks off your metabolism, that your body starts working for the day. You'll be going to the bathroom less um, than if you were to try and just drink a cup here, drink a cup there, drink a cup here, drink a cup there. I like to sit down in front of a large window or even get outside and just drink it, take, take your vitamins with it, um, journal, meditate. Uh, have some time of reflection, make your goals for your day, strategize how you're going to be the best version of yourself that day. And you're immediately going to feel so successful for giving your body what you need. Plenty of water to start your day. Starting your day off with a big success is one way to just keep you feeling happy and motivated and productive for the rest of your day. And don't worry, you will be using the bathroom a lot to begin with. But if you're anything like me, I've seen my body adjust to this large intake of water. And I've even found that I'll have had my two liters in the morning, afternoon, and then later at night I want another cup of water. I get really thirsty and I want a cup of tea and become more in tune with how much I need to be drinking. Tip number two on how to get that elusive summer glow. Get outside, you have to get some sun. I know that when I've had a little bit of sun, I look so much healthier. There's just a, a flushy pink tone in my cheeks, across my nose, I see it in my lips, my eyes pop, my hair glows when I've gotten enough sunshine. As an actor, it's really, really important for me to be taking care of myself physically and getting enough sun and getting enough water is a great way to be looking my absolute best. If you have trouble getting outside throughout your day, and I do as well, first off, are you working in indoors? Take it outside. If you're running inside on a treadmill, why? Get outside, the heat will make you sweat, release all those toxins, make your workout outdoors. If you work a desk job, go outside for your lunch break. Open up your windows if you can, get that fresh air flowing in, sit near a window when you're going out to lunch with friends. Sit outdoors. If it's too cold for that, bring a jacket. At least get some sun on your face, on your legs. Your body will thank you for it, and your skin will thank you for it too. I noticed that I get less acne in the summer. Now, obviously we know that too much sun is not a good thing. Maybe make sure there's some SPF in that BB cream if you're using BB cream. Or I know on a lot of foundations they come with SPF now because we've understood the risks of putting your skin in too much sun. It's not gonna be glowing. It's gonna be just a crumpled mess in a few years so take care of your skin protect it but do get outside and get that sun if you are trying to achieve that 
perfect summer glow, take a good hard look at your skincare regimen when you wake up in the morning and before you go to sleep at night. What does that routine look like? Have you made a routine? Have you really gotten to know your skin, what it needs, what it reacts well to, what it reacts negatively to? Do you have sensitive skin? Do you know what products your skin is sensitive to? Really take some time to figure out what you need. So I told you guys that my skin tends to be on the dry side. In the morning, I like to just be gentle with my face, wash it with some warm water. So I use face oils by Fine Oils. And just to tell you guys a little about these, these are natural, cruelty-free, vegan, and they have been certified by both PETA and Leaping Bunny. No preservatives, sulfates, or added fragrances. One of the really cool things about these oils is that they're handmade, so you know when, when you order from them, you're getting a fresh batch. So in the evening, I like to use my Detox and Brightening Night Treatment Face Oil. It comes in these awesome glass bottles and you take a smell of them. If you use essential oils, you can really start to recognize some um, familiar oils. And in the morning, I like to either use Super Antioxidant Nourishing Face Oil or I use Youthful Hydration Age Defying Face Oil. And since using these oils, I have noticed a drastic change in my skin. I have already started to see some lines right here and right here start to dissipate and my skin feels amazing throughout the day. Keeping my dry skin more hydrated I think has been one of the keys to getting better skin. And the thing about these oils are is that they're not just for dry skin. In fact, they've seen really, really positive results with people who have oily and combination skin. Using these oils in your face can cause your skin to stop producing so much oil and instead you're getting the really good stuff in your skin. So the best way that they say to apply these is actually to press them into your face instead of instead of massaging them into your face. So I normally just put a few drops here. It smells so good. I definitely am smelling some lavender in there. So they say pressing them into your skin is the best way to get these into your pores. And, um, and when you have some leftover on your fingers, you can rub it into the ends of your hair, rub it under your neck. They work as a great primer underneath if your foundation is oil-based. It smells like I'm wearing perfume and it just gives me this great sheen. My skin will start to soak that in. It does so very quickly, so just give it a minute if you're about to apply makeup on top or just wear it as is and you've got a great smell, you've got a great glow for the rest of the day. I really, really, really recommend these products. I'll be sure to tag them in the description below go to their website, check out their products, they make a great gift. So my fourth and final tip for getting glowing skin for the summer is take a look at your diet. What are you eating? How much of your diet consists of fresh fruits and vegetables? I know sometimes it is so easy to get packaged foods. Sometimes we give in to those salty cravings. Those I know that I my weakness is desserts, pastries, cakes, and really anything sweet, ice cream, your skin is really gonna glow when you start putting in your body the stuff that it needs to, to look and feel its best. So, get rid of your cheap, cheap, white and rich grains, replace them in the morning with whole grains, fresh fruit on oatmeal. So I eat mostly vegan. Getting rid of animal products in your diet, everything is gonna move through you faster. You will start to see a difference. It will be easier to lose weight and can keep you feeling so fresh, so light on your feet. Get rid of the meat, get rid of the dairy, especially the dairy for your skin. Uh, replace it with nut milk, replace it with coconut yogurt, replace it with fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, salads, and, and banana and ice cream. And if you're interested in getting some cool recipes or if you wanna see what I'm eating, go check out uh, The Naughty Vegetarians on Instagram. I'll also tag them below. And you'll see what I eat when I'm traveling, what Xander and I keep in the fridge. So those are my four tips for getting glowing, glowing skin this summer. I'm working on myself. I'm working on my skincare. I'm trying to take better care of myself. I hope that you guys are inspired. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here with me today. I can't wait to hear what your tips are, what you think I missed. And until my next video, stay in touch.